Hey what's up everybody, my name is Renato Shemetti, you guys can call me Rainimations. Let me do the intro really quickly, uh, which will be pressing F. This is the... A ladybug on a leaf, but every single time I attempted it, it seemed like it was not working out the way I wanted it. So I, uh, so I scaled it up and uh, and then turned on the opacity for this rough drawings uh, to see if that would change anything. I don't know what this is. I'll clear that out. It's not doing anything right here, and I'll be doing the rough shape that I want because the rough drawing, right? So I want something that is kind of kind of like this. Not, I want it to be big, the leaf, but I want the leaf to go upwards. I don't want it to go down. So instead of aiming downwards, I press gravity. Now we got a much more solid foundation for what I wanted. Uh, you know, as you can see, I already did somewhat rough sketch for this, and this uh, or, or this blocking out stage, and it's because I, for some odd reason, I just couldn't get the the feeling that I wanted correctly every single time, and I, it just really really bothered me. So. Now that we got this, I wanted it to be big, maybe this area be a slightly bit bigger. Essentially, they're just like leaves on it, and it's supposed to be a ladybug in this area right here. So after I get this rough drawing done, I'll do a little very nice line work for it. Looks a lot better, and it is technically having sort of this form. This area right here is still is too thick. This bottom part, I don't know. So I'm just gonna smooth it down. See how that looks? Yeah, definitely like that. It's not gonna go up this high. It's probably gonna cut off somewhere around up here. Or slightly higher than that. Oh. Seeing like it didn't want to calculate the first time. Yeah, that, that seems kind of annoying. Yeah. So we'll calculate all the way up to there. Now, the reason why I do this like that is because I'm going to be, uh, you know, essentially making sure all of this is connected. Maybe this area going up and upwards. I'm going to bring this border 
this one in a little bit more. And I think I'm going to bring in all the borders until I get 108 for, uh, no, uh, 1008 for the rest of the, no, 18 I think it was. I'll have to look it up later. For the resolution, let's add the ladybug in this one. So then I know how it looks. I was going to use references for this, so I'm going to get out of this color. And this, this brush sets, because I'm not using them at the moment. I don't use them all the time. I want pure ref to be open, though. And there's the pure ref. It's gonna open up on this side normally. If it opens, there it goes. And I wanted to have ladybug pictures. So last time I looked up ladybug, and what I got was miraculous ladybug pictures. So I'm gonna look up ladybug here. On Google instead of looking it up on Pinterest. Because, you know. And seeing if it loads, it seems like my Wi-Fi is having a little bit of a trouble all of a sudden. Let's see if I could change Wi-Fi's. Maybe that might change up things. Oh, sorry for that extra noise. And there it goes, ladybug images. And then I'm just gonna pick up some images, maybe something like this. Boom, put it right there. Now we got one image of a ladybug. Here's another one. And they're, they're pretty nice looking though. And then this is the one I was getting all the time, this ladybug. I move that one to the side because that's not that, uh, that, uh, that it, that's not gonna be the reference I'm gonna be using. No, I'm only using this for uh, images on Google for references. I am not using them to sell. Just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm not using them in any way that will be in, uh, wrong, other than learning purposes. So I can learn. And in case you guys are watching this and want to learn how to draw a ladybug, this would be it. Uh, what else? So, uh, something that is very similar perspective to the one I'm doing might work. Uh, let's see. Maybe this one. They're all pretty similar perspectives. Uh... Or this one. You may notice that this one looks a little bit more golden, but that's okay. Sometimes ladybugs uh, look like that, I think, when they're dying or something. I could be wrong. Maybe I just don't know anything, uh, everything about the ladybug. This one looks kind of funky. I wonder if this is how they actually look. Almost looks like a bee a wasp or something and then everything but we could, and then in this one it looks like an ant so if you, if you want to know how to draw a ladybug or an ant uh, if you want to know how to draw an ant afterwards you got good reference uh, ladybugs are decent references too obviously ants are the best well, uh, ones for drawing ants but yeah okay now, let me close out of that you may notice I'm not wearing my headsets. I don't always wear my headsets, but sometimes I do. Okay, let's move this slightly to the side, so it's not completely in the way. And I'm making sure that I'm not doing anything out of place. Let me disconnect my headset because my headset has been charging for a while. This one's. Uh, I should use them to listen to the Bible. <sighs> okay, so using the references I got, I could start off with like some sort of circle. Because it looks like it's some sort of bubble. Right? And 
here. Okay, kind of like that. This portion I could draw it really quickly, so I'm gonna do a 15 minute timer and then do this as a kind of time lapse. And I'll be speeding through the process as much as possible. Sometimes you can draw lines and then hey, they look suggestive, and sometimes they, they don't. Like this one's that one looks kind of suggestive. Maybe I thought it was just gonna be this little bump thing right here, like the ladybug, but I guess it has a little head right here. I guess most people don't like to draw that area, uh, that part, and then. Bam, 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 bam. I'll draw some like antenna I like that. Uh, what else? Make sure that this looks like it's covering up some of this area right here. This is not perfectly spherical, but it's fine. Kind of reminds me of a turtle shell sometimes, it, just by looking at it. Some uh, right here, and this reference is how it like folds outwards, but it's so subtle that you can't really see it. And most often, most people try drawing this type of ladybug because that's kind of like the one I'm going for. You don't necessarily need references, reference pictures for them. But I like using reference pictures for them because it gives me a good idea. Oh, and you see how this one has like a dot that's like in between the markings? I kind of like that idea. I have one like right there. That looks very interesting. And darken it up. The dots are going to be dark. This is the rough sketch. I should put on my headset so I know when the, when the timer goes off. Alright. Okay. One more. I think that should be it. I mean, yeah. I can see that there's little dark uh, marks like that here and there. And then darken up all of this. Alright. And here it has like this little box like things on the side and then everything here is dark so I'm doing just that too If I was to go with the perspective of everything kind of feet, the body should be something like this. And then head. Make sure I have the little markings on it. And then the antenna. Right? And obviously the legs, the legs will be one right here, one right here, and then some over here. I think it has like four legs in the, in the body, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure on it, but four legs looks fine. I think this leg should be further back. I'm letting, uh, I'm letting my, uh, like my art style take control of it sometimes uh, and then just decide how the legs are going to be bending okay. that looks too wiggly oh yeah that looks a lot better maybe the this area right here could be bigger oh, I'm not sure why I'm rotating it probably made a lot of you guys dizzy out there and I'm, I'm apologizing in advance. I'm sorry. Okay. 
and I don't think it has much in the antennas. Maybe the little ball things right here. It's the sensors. That's what uh, that's what bugs have this antennas for. Maybe like the little mouth. So. Let's see, now round it about a little bit more so it looks like it's got in. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, so we got like half the time this time. Let's go and color most of this rough drawings. I kind of like the roughness of it, but I need color. So I'm going to go in the bottom right here, maybe add all this, and then add there above it decides to go above it and then I'm gonna take a brush that I know it's gonna fill in most of it go for a green maybe a dark green and boom. now for this some designs you may notice that they don't have everything colored in correctly I think I'm gonna go for something like that where it, oh, the line works it's not colored completely correct but it looks nice maybe ladybug separate coloring boom and afterwards a little bit of white this time around I'm gonna do a highlight on the ladybug maybe And obviously the little white spots it has. Keeping that in mind. Also go for a really dark black. Fill in the spots. Alright. And I see how that is coming out. Maybe fill in the background with some sort of green. Uh, add an extra layer. This time I'm gonna go for a dark bluish green, something like that, and then fill it in. Oh yeah, that looks that that's coming out already nice. And then what I want to do is take the selection tool, right, and quickly select areas of highlight. Same thing here. Areas of highlight. Alright. On the leaf. And then go to the leaf. There, lock it right. And then you can either fill it in like that. Uh, but obviously, very bright color. Probably something like this. But towards the screen. Click it. Maybe make it slightly brighter, towards yellow, and then fill it in, boom, deselect it, see how it looks. Uh, because it's layer locked, I take the same brush and then just paint this area right here, and then this area up here, and this area is going to be dark, this area could be bright, uh, that area could be bright, okay, and then a little bit of a highlight around. Okay, I go darker and go slightly blue. Okay, select the color and then go slightly darker, but towards the blue in this area. All right, so now it's a completely different shade of green. Cool shades, a uh, warm lighting. All right. So this is what I'm essentially doing. And you could take any single brush that you want and then do the same sort of effect on it. And then I take this this one or something, right? And then just pass it over the middle right here. And if I take away the line work, that's what I have right now. You can kind of see what it is. 
what we need is something here. I'm gonna layer lock it. I don't really need to layer lock it, but I'm gonna do it. I got five minutes left, so I'm gonna do something really quickly. It will be take out this brush tools. I think it was this one, right? This feature right here. And then I'm just gonna go to something like Let's see how that looks. How does that look? Oh yeah. I kinda like that. Okay, so first I'm gonna pass it around like this. Now you may be wondering, it's not doing anything? Just because it hasn't calculated. For some odd reason sometimes it glitches and it doesn't want to calculate correctly. So I gotta go very soft and sometimes go hard, soft, hard, soft. Alright, well, that looks nice. But adding this little splashes of light, it shows that the light does get to the bottom. And that's this issue. Here, if it decides to calculate correctly, right? That looks nice. And now I take the cropping tool, right? And then I'm gonna select the cropping area that I want. And I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a thousand. And 18 or 80. 180 by 180. Is that correct? That's an 80. And for some odd reason, it didn't want to calculate because I did that. I go ahead and I 180 by 180. Sure. Okay. No, it looks fine, but it's too small, so it's clearly not that size. It was small, it was small, but not that small. It was fine, it was somewhere around here. And I, I look it up 1920 by 1080. I think it was 1080 by 1080. I didn't know it was that small. Oh, what I can do is I can go here, image, uh, you know, I'll crop it as accurate as I can, right? To get as much as I can, right? So it seems like, what size is this? This is this term. So 140 might be very well. No, one, four hundred by one four hundred. One, four hundred. One, four hundred by one. And this, this, and then that's what I get. Uh, let me do that again. One four hundred by. And then uh, I think I can move it to the side a little. And then up a little. No, I keep it like somewhere there. And one four hundred. Yep, 
that looks a lot much better. A lot better, I mean. And it seems like the timer is up. So that's pretty much it for today's drawing for the 15 minute portion. You know, I did all the coloring and the stylization of it. it I could, you can even go into more details by duplicating some of the layers. They are locking it and, you know, doing some effects like taking some yellowish uh, tones like this and then just passing it over some of it like that. And then you can do something like screen or a glow, maybe. And then have that ladybug really stand out. Uh, I kind of like it being dark. It, it, it brings a little attention to it. Not that dark, though. But a little bit brighter. Yeah, something like that. And then the same thing could be applied to this, just duplicate it, and it's already there locked. You can do some textures for it, uh, just this brush, and then do some texture on it. And for some odd reason, that texture was really tiny. Uh, let's see, this, right? So I did this, right? And it adds some sort of texture, right? To it all. Whether we can see it or not, it doesn't matter. Make it darker, maybe. So after I make it darker enough, that, uh, I could take it, bring it down the opacity, or have it be multiplied, or something like linear burn, or linear, linear burn. I think let's try screen and then bringing up the opacity on it. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. Look at that, it has texture now. I like that. I like the fact that it has texture, it gives it such more, uh, more character to the drawing, even though it's something so simplistic. Uh, and final last thing, I could layer lock. The line work right and then I'm gonna select the darkest aspect of things it should be something like this right and then I'm just gonna pass it really quickly uh, like a texture brush or something over the line work I did all the line work for the ladybug on a separate layer so it's not gonna affect it but you, know, you can kind of see how this does its magic or its technique on it you know. okay. And it went from a very simplistic drawing that you can even take away the background if you wanted to. And I kind of want that. I don't want this. That I don't want this. I kind of do want. So I'm going to put that above. And then I'm going to add this. And then this texture is visible. And I have it be overlaid. And then bring up the opacity. Maybe color dodge. No. Screen. Lighten. Overlay. Overlay kind of like fades away. Soft light. Soft light kind of works. Hard light doesn't work at all, but it makes it look like it's all blend glow. No. Screen, screen seems to be like the more logical color for it, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be some sort of gray, so something like this, and you know, you could do more textures to it. Essentially, make sure that. Uh, this area above is not so uh, detailed, so I like kind of just make the center of attention over here. Maybe brighten up this area up here. Boom. And then just let your brush do its thing. And if 
you want it to go even darker, you can. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It looks beautiful like that. Adding random textures like this it makes it look like the background is natural because it's not planned. Uh, and then you do different things like brighten it, darken it, and go out in the middle. Darken it up a lot more. This looks like splashes of water, which I don't, I kind of don't like. So, oh, that I do like. Maybe, yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. That's a lot better. See, so it kind of looks nice. But you know what the final look that I want to do for this is? This is a bonus one for you guys. You go over everything, right? And then you uh, take this layer, right? And then kind of like that. And then go for a dark blue. Fill it on it. And then you do an effect. I think it's uh, actually the uh, the linear one. Is it linear? Yeah, linear. So you do linear. And it kind of adds this nice look to it. Kind of like that Instagram fi uh, filter that makes it everything kind of blue. It's just that. That's what it is. And another one that I like to do is go really, really dark, right? And then go to the circle tool. Make sure it looks like a circle. And because this is a square, all you're doing is bringing it to like roughly centered and then around the edges, right? So you go around the edges with some sort of texture brush like this. And you slowly zoom in, right? And then you go. Yeah. Gotta zoom in a lot more so I can kind of select this. Yeah. This can go slightly brighter. Okay. So that's what I want. Yeah. And that's it again. And then for this one, at the words, you could just fade it uh, by passing the blur tool, right? Which just blends it in a little bit more, just slightly. It's not too noticeable. But if you wanted some better bl uh, blends, you could use things like this. And uh, go back to the charcoal tool. And then try blending it like that. That doesn't seem to be blending very well. And call it a day, right? Now, what you could do is, I think it's multiply, or you know, it's one of these effects, right? You're supposed to call it dodge, right? No. Uh, well, overlay, yeah, overlay, overlay works, and I don't like some of this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select uh, some random brush, right? Maybe this one, and then I erase in that circle for me, yeah, maybe right here. Right, look at that effect. It gives it like a new blue, a nice blue, or you could take away the blue and just keep the greens. But this darken effect makes everything, fo uh, makes you kind of want to focus in the middle area. Maybe I made it too big, so I'm going to scale it down a little bit and then do it again. And then take away the blue. Or you can even go for this blue, right? And instead of being blue, you make sure to color it something different, like uh, purple. Like purple, I don't know. 
and you see it makes a huge difference but normally you go for dark dark for uh darker the better and in this case since green is this way maybe reds would uh, would do a nice tone to it oh yeah definitely feels a lot better feels like you're already in a, some sort of jungle and you're just staring at that and that zoomed in there you go Okay, thank you all for joining me for today's video. If you did like it, leave a like. For any reason, if you disliked it, leave a dislike. Uh, my name is Renato. You guys can call me Ray or Animations. Thank you all for joining me for today's video. Again, uh, what else? Check out my channel. Uh, it will be right there. And my newest video should be above me or slightly to the side. Somewhere around there. You know, my channel is here. And my videos up here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it for today. If you did like it, you know, you know what to do. I, I'm like repeating myself at this point and waiting for something to happen. Just you know, nobody likes my videos. <sighs> I'm kidding. Anyways, 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 fun, a uh, fun time talking to you guys. Uh, you know, you can always do some extra effects. Ooh, that actually looks interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe uh, scale it up. Blue background or green? I think I like the green. So I'll delete that. That's not important. Okay. Saving time because you gotta save all your work. Why are you guys still watching? Thought you guys will have liked and subscribed and you know left me alone. Ugh. I'll save it after I, I say goodbye to you guys.